What's up, guys? Hello. It's Mama. And Papa. <laughs> <laughs> we screwed that up. Hey, guys, guess what we're doing? We're going on a pop hunt today. There is a place semi local that we're going to that has a grand opening with thousands of Funko Pops. It's called Back to the Media, based out of Williamsport, Maryland. So we're gonna go up there today. We're gonna do some major, and I'm talking major pop hunting. And we're gonna take a bunch of stuff to trade or maybe sell and hopefully get some things that we really want. So, um, and then maybe we'll stop a few other places along the way. I don't know, but we're gonna be doing a major pop hunt. Come join um, us. Hopefully they let us take footage, I don't know. I don't know, anyways, we'll see you guys here in just a few minutes. from the past, Haunted Mansion Ezra, Green Goblin I haven't seen in a while, Spongebob, and they had like a little mermaid box, and he doesn't really matter, but so this is a really good section here at Target, and look, babe, more of the rock, Heck yeah. so, neat. Really good section 11s over there. Some other cool finds here too. Squirtle and the it's Wandering Heretic. Hmm. It's worth 55. PPG? Or Funko. Funko app. We just wanted to show this is probably the best wall, uh, target I've seen. All right, guys. We are back from our haul at back to the media. I had to think about it for a minute. Back to the media based in Williamsport, Maryland. It was the grand opening. We had a blast. And we found some stuff. Actually, we didn't spend much money because we traded a bunch. So we got like store credit towards Pops. Technically. That's right. Mystery boxes coming through in the clutch. Let's go. So we'll show you everything we picked up today. We did pick up a lot. We usually don't pick up this much, but we did. And no regrets. And I completed two sets almost. She did. I'm going to show you two things before we get in the Pops. And that's, um, I'm going to show you first one of the um, mystery minis, kind of, or whatever you want to call them, that we got. Um, and that is um, this fella from the Haunted Mansion. I do not remember his name, and I'm sorry. So now, I we, just, failed. now we just have one more. We're just missing the, the mummy. mummy. Yep. So we went and picked that up, because why not? And then at Back to the Media, which I know is a play on words for Back to the Future, we got this Chase Captain Crunch Pez. Do I collect Pez? No. Do I like this one? Yes. <laughs> so I got it. Um, they had a lot of Pez. Actually, this place was legitimate. If you didn't see, there's hundreds and hundreds 
of figures, good ones. And let me tell you, they did not price any above PPG Funko app. And that's hard to find with local shops because, you know, you got to make your money. But um, that's pretty admirable. So um, nonetheless, let's start hauling it up. Let's do the ones we didn't get there real quick. Okay. How about that? Um, should, do I start first? Yeah, go ahead. So first off, I stopped at GameStop because I had to get the newest ad icon, which is sick. And it is Chester, Chester Cheetah. Cheetah. Obviously based out of Cheetahs, duh. Show them the back of it. Awesome figure. So that goes in the ad icons collection that I keep telling myself I'm not going to keep adding to, and here we are. So nonetheless, let's move on to the second one that I got from, or not from, um, uh, that, that store. Uh, this was an accidental purchase that my mom made. She was looking on eBay, thought she was watching it. She ended up buying it, and it's fine because I didn't have it. It is the 2018 Fall Convention Exclusive, New York Comic Con, that is, Little Whirlwind Mickey. I didn't have this one. I looked for it at Walmart, and as you know, Walmart is a joke. Maybe one day we'll do a list of the biggest jokes of Funko Pop stores. Walmart. Ours doesn't get any. Yeah, Walmart's pretty bad. Walmart's up there. I, they may be the worst. I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to think about it a little deeper. No, FYE. Yeah, FYE's probably the worst. And then do you want me to just show my last one before you get into yours? Go ahead. Um, Target went well, let's just say. Uh, actually, all, I have two pops. I always trust. Yeah. Always trust me. Yeah, she made the call and she was correct on it. So um, I'm pumped about this one. Uh, I'm not a Star Wars collector, but this was a must get. And this is the Boba Fett. And this is the, this looks way better in person. I'm sorry for that glare. Turn, maybe turn on this. It's in this stuff. pop stack too, which I'm not taking it out of. And that's the reason for the glare. This is a Target exclusive. It has like that camo design with red and yellow and green. Um, the, I hadn't seen this anywhere in probably 20 Targets. They had like 10 of them sitting in there. That's why I said trust me. Yep. She was right. She got it right. So that's a cool pickup. So share the couple of pops you got from a couple of the other okay. stores. Okay. So from... Where was it? It's going to be called Bleacher Bums. Bleacher Bums at the mall near <coughs> Williamsport. Wait, in Hagerstown. It was in Hagerstown. Sorry. I like the Pittsburgh Pirates, so I picked up their mascot. Because I've, I've been debating on this one for a while, so I went ahead and picked him up. Pretty he is cool. The Pirates Parrot, he's awesome. I like him. The reason we haven't collected that line is we're trying not to hit that slippery slope. So. But I like him. I've been wanting him for a while. Yeah, he's great. And pop up your other one, too. And then... Pop. Picked up the Water Knock from Frozen 2, which comes out in November. By the way, this one's like worth $45, which is, yeah. I think, around that. We got it for 11 Yeah, $11, yeah. which is really good. So I feel like this pop's going to be worth a lot more in the future. I'm, was that in the first one? I'm not a big Frozen person. No, I don't think it was in the first so it's one. New. It's, it's in the new movie. Oh, I forgot one thing, guys, at Hot Topic. Totally forgot about this. Oh, yeah, um, a hot topic, by the way, for the water knock. Yeah. Um, this I this is what I went into hot topic for. This thing is gargantuan and amazing, and it is the um, it's the Jack Skellington giant head. Um, what do they call this one? The color rock color rock candy. Rock candy. I don't know. No, it's not called that. I'm spacing on the name. You have to leave a name in the comment. I totally forget. I don't know why. They... Sugar skull. Sugar skull. That's it. Um, that is so cool. I love this thing. So that'll be going on display. Um, I wanted to pick this up. It sold out. So I went and got it. So. All right, guys. Now on to our haul from back to the media. So in terms of actual pops, she picked up, I think, seven. And I got seven, I believe. I got seven. Maybe seven, eight. Maybe I got eight. I'm not sure. But anyways, we did well. So should I start or do you want, or do you want to start I'll go ahead and start. Go ahead. So I guess I'll start off with Eeyore from Christopher Robin. He's really cute. Look at him. Look how cute he is. Oh, by the way, all these pops are in like perfect condition too. Yeah, I will give them credit. They're all mint. Absolutely mint. So that's cool. So I guess I'll move on to me. We'll just kind of go back and forth. Um, next up, I got the Glow in the Dark Barnes & Noble Edition. I have this pop, just not this specific one. Um, I saw it and I knew it was an immediate get, and that is the amazing Harley Quinn Demon from Disney's Nightmare Before Christmas, which is obviously one of my favorite movies of all time. I think a lot of people hate on that movie. I love that movie. So that's a cool, that's a cool figure. Go ahead. Right. Next one, I got Tigger. 
He's also very adorable. I like him. You might notice a theme with these. Yes. <laughs> Nice. So this, that's a cool one. I like those. Those are those are neat ones. Um, next up, I got from the 20 year edition. I think this is made. Uh, it's a little older, but this is the Buzz Lightyear 20th edition Toy Story. I guess common. It's not worth a lot of PPG. I don't really care because I really cool. like. I like it. the box. Like yeah, the, I do too. Looks like it's celebrating. We need Rex and we need Ham though. To complete this Rex set. Rex and Ham. That's Ham. pretty much why I got it. Ham's adorable. Yeah. So, okay. All right. I will move on. This is one of the big girls I picked up today. It is Winnie the Pooh Flocked from Box Lunch. It's their exclusive. Look at him. He's adorable. He's holding his bling. I love that one. So, this is one of my grails I picked up today. Yeah. It's cool. Right. Um, again, don't even pay attention. We have their surprises on those. We'll set those out. Yeah. We didn't pay retail for anything mm -hmm. because... Um, uh, we had store credit from trading and things of that nature. But again, everything they had was basically PPG or lower, so I can't complain. So I completed this set today. Oh. Yep. So that's cool. They have the common winning, but I said just get the flock. Yeah, so they only have three, and this is the one set I completed. So that's cool. So then also to go with that buzz, I got Woody from the 20 years. So now, and you know, two girls on my list are Ham and uh, Rex, so I will be trying to pick those up to go with the set. So... Yep, Woody, Woody to go with old Buzz. Adorable. So that's great. All right, your turn. All right, I'll start with. Yeah, leave that one last. Yeah, Chef from Monsters Inc. There he is. That's a sweet figure. Mm -hmm. Now I already have Sully, so we're good on Sully. That's a cool figure. So Chef. Next up, you know we've completed the Harry Potter set. It's all gone. It's all done. However, we had, by number, we had variations to pick up. We had two that we needed. One of them was the blue suited Barnes and Noble exclusive Gilderoy Lockhart. So I found it. It was again nine dollars or something. So I picked it up. Um, I wasn't ever really gonna seek it, but because we already have the numbered fifty nine version, but I might as well be the completionist that I am. So, all right, next okay. up here. And we have Boo. Look, they're holding our little Mike Wazowski teddy bear. That's a cute one. Mm -hmm. I love it. So that's a cool one. And then I had to complete the rest of the Harry Potter. So we had the regular nearless, he nearly headless Nick. So why not get the San Diego Comic-Con 2018 glow in the dark headless Nick? This one I've been actually looking for because it's glow. But again, this was another $9 pickup and I love it. So that'll go to the collection right behind us there. I'll put it there while she's doing her next one. Doesn't matter. Oh, my next one is the good old Roz. There she is. She's pretty cool. So I had three big time pickups from here. This is one of them. I've been wanting this one ever since I knew it was a thing. And this is from It, the first version. And this is the awesome to go with my Georgie, Bloody Chase, this is the awesome Beverly Marsh, Bloody Chase. So that's awesome. I've been waiting for this one. First thing we saw when we walked in, by the way. This Literally, box. as soon as I turned the corner, I'm like, oh, there's Bev. Yep, we snagged it immediately. Mm, I'll do one more since she has only one left. So this one was another yeah, one on my list. Yeah, this one's awesome. This is probably my favorite overall. This is a Walgreens exclusive, and this is the Light Up Iron Man. Avengers, uh, I think Infinity War. Let's light it up. Yep. So, God, that thing Heck looks so yeah, awesome. Yeah, look. Yep. Pretty sweet. I've been waiting for this pop to find it um, in stores, and I found it. Saw it one time back when it came out at a Walgreens. It was just, it just eviscerated. It was terrible. When did terrible. it come out? Um, I'm, I want to say it's been a year ago at this point. Hmm. Infinity Wars was. I don't remember. I don't remember either, but it's it's old, so. Um, and then we get to our two grails. She picked one up. Well, I picked her one up, and I picked one up myself. All right, this is my big grail. Ha! Ah, the Chase version of Eeyore from Hot Topic. Mm -hmm. The blue giant. diamond. Yes, blue diamond. So as you see, she got a lot of Winnie the Pooh ones. I did. This one's great. And there was a lot we didn't pick up. They had Chase Scar. They had, like, um... I don't even remember some of these old ones. So yeah, I also completed my Monsters Inc. set too. Yeah. Got a bunch of Harry Potter, a bunch of wrestling. It was great. They had a ton of this. 
So we'll be going back there soon. Then lastly, I've been waiting for this one. This is the NBA 2K19 Exclusive Edition WWE line of the Nature Boy, styling and profiling, Ric Flair. Woo! That one's awesome. I love that one. This is a great figure. Um, I think this thing's worth $65 or something of that nature. Uh, I guess we didn't have to pay that because I traded some Marvel Pops. Yeah, so don't mind the price tags on yeah. them. Cause... So traded a bunch of stuff for this, and uh, I'm pumped, so... That was our haul today. We had a pretty good day. Yeah, it was a great time. I mean, I can't complain whatsoever. So we picked up a lot of stuff, but not a, much, not a lot of money because we had done so many trades. So that's awesome. So this is going to be a long video. I'm really sorry for that. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for coming. Later. Peace.